Andrew Rivera is a bug catcher, and this is one of his traps. This trap is baited with water and a little bit of hay. Andrew is part of a team of environmental health specialists given the task of monitoring and trapping mosquitoes, but not just any mosquitoes. We're looking for mosquitoes um, that belong to the species Aedes aegypti or Aedes albopictus. These invasive mosquitoes can transmit the viruses that cause dengue fever, yellow fever, chikungunya, and the Zika virus. They tend not to breed in large water sources like lagoons, but rather choose smaller containers like those found in most backyards. So plant saucers, buckets, any standing water down to the size of a thimble. Environmental specialists visit about a dozen or so neighborhood traps every week to monitor the population of these mosquitoes and track its travel patterns. Both of these mosquitoes here are Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. Everyone caught is carefully removed, bagged, and sent off to a lab to be analyzed. The Albopictus is the Asian tiger mosquito. The Aedes aegypti is the yellow fever mosquito. As San Diego County's supervising vector ecologist, Chris Conlin is especially interested in the Aedes mosquito because of their ability to cause a local outbreak of one of these tropical diseases. Those are generally the kinds of things that people pick up on their travels to more tropical type destinations. Um, and if should they come back infected and then perhaps expose themselves to the local mosquitoes while they're actively in infectious and sick, um, they, then there is that possibility that the, the, those mosquitoes could pick up the infection and then move it to somebody in the neighborhood who perhaps hadn't gone anywhere. Mosquitoes get into people's homes all the time. That, that, that's not unusual. But if people are sitting there in their homes during broad daylight and they have mosquitoes buzzing around their, their, their face trying to bite them, that's not a good sign and, and it's, it's a pretty strong indication that it may be one of these two invasive species. Educate yourself on what you can do to keep mosquitoes out of your neighborhood by visiting the county's Fight the Bite website. For the County News Center, I'm James Ketchkesh.